Hi everyone, my name is Brian Rickman. I'm one of the librarians at the Shapiro Library. In this video, we're gonna be talking about what resources are available to construction science, construction management students, uh, specifically through our research guide and how to navigate through some of those things. So we're gonna start off with our Shapiro Library homepage. So this is the page that you can get to if you go in through um, Brightspace, you'll see the Shapiro Library uh, link up at the top. You'll also find this by going through My SNU and Shapiro Library on the right hand side. On this page, there's a lot of options. Um, I'll give you a quick navigational tour. Right in the center, you have this large search box, the multi search. It searches the majority of our databases, but it doesn't search all of them and it doesn't do a deep dive. And, um, it basically skims the surface of our databases looking for information. But you're probably better off going through one of our more subject specific databases and we're going to go into our research guide to talk about those. If you want to see the full list of our databases you can scroll down to the left hand side under quick links you'll see the A to Z database list that gives you the full list of all of our databases and you can limit it that by construction management if you want, engineering, science in general. We also have a citing your sources guide and we link from that from our research guide. So we'll talk about that in a little bit. We have a list of FAQs in the middle of the page. So that's the other search box below. If you have questions like, how do I cite something in APA style? Or how do I find uh, the SWOT analysis for a company? Um, this is a good place to search for those questions. And they kind of complement our Ask a Librarian service up at the top right-hand side. So you can see a chat 24 seven with the librarian an email where you can ask questions, and a phone number as well. And I'll also make sure that your instructor has my contact information, as I deal specifically or work specifically with um, students in the STEM programs. I'm more than happy to field your question and provide you some guidance on which resources you might use and how to search those resources. So if we were to click on a research guides link, it's gonna bring all of our research guides up for our academic programs and also on specific topics. So as you can see, we have algebra, APA style basics, if you wanna know how to cite something in APA style, the archives, and we have a guide specific to construction uh, and engineering management. So I've already opened that up in another page. So we're gonna take a look at this guide. This should be embedded in your course. Um, and it's really sort of a microcosm of the Shapiro Library website, focused specifically on resources around construction and engineering management topics. So the first page is just a splash page, comes up with uh, this welcome text, along with some news coming from a popular uh, news blog, Construction Manager. And this refreshes, as you can see, every day. Lower on the page, books and eBooks, these are just some sample um, books that we pulled out on your particular discipline. If you want to search one of our databases for ebooks, we've made a list of those databases from the books and ebooks page. You can choose a database, select whatever, or type in whatever topic you're looking for, and you'll get a list of books that are available on that topic. And here are some that are available online that we've pulled out for you. Same thing with sample books for architecture, just a slightly different list. And then we make recommendations on databases where you can find those ebooks. If you're searching for articles or research on a particular topic, we make recommendations from our database list. So overall, we have about 258 databases right now. We've pulled out the ones that are pertinent to these topic ranges. So we have art and architecture. These are the databases that are relevant to that field. Engineering databases, which contain a lot of construction science and construction management topics. And then some business databases down below. Before I get into searching some of these databases that I'm not really gonna do a deep dive into searching all many of our databases, something that you can do is go over to the left-hand side of the page, look under finding web resources, and look at the lists of organizations and associations, and also um, websites that are pertinent to construction and engineering management. So as we go into construction and engineering management organizations and associations, you'll see a lot listed here. And you don't need to get to know every single association or organization in your field. 
but over time you'll realize that you have um, an affinity for one area of, of your particular field and you'll want to find out what associations are um, appropriate for you to look at. So here's a list of some. So we have Construction Management Association of America, um, American Public Works Association, and we also have things like the Association for Advancement of Cost Engineering. Again, you don't have to get familiar with each of these, but I like to point them out because as you click on some, we'll choose this uh, American Society for Civil Engineers. What these societies offer are um, not only membership and community and education opportunities, but they also talk about some of the current research that's going on in the field. So from this page, you can see what publications they have. You can look and see what um, issues and advocacy they're going for. And really, there's are going to give you an idea of, as you're going into your field, specifically, this would be Society of Civil Engineers, what are some of the topics that civil engineers are concerned with? And you can see things like sustainability, engineer tomorrow, disaster response. The reason I like to start out by going to some of these associations is that if you're unclear of what topic to search, understanding what's interesting or new in the field is going to help guide those questions for you and maybe help you uncover some of the areas that you're interested in. So on this particular website, I focus on sustainability projects and you can do a search if you want, but as you scroll down, you can also see some of the sustainability projects that are happening. This will give you a short um, description of what's happening. So here's South Los Angeles Wetland Park. If we click on that, it should bring up a little bit more about this particular project. And from here, it's going to generate some ideas for you to take a look at researching from one of our databases that has those articles and other research, or from one of our books. So if you're interested in knowing more about, let's say, the Federal Clean Water Act, um, things about the watersheds in general, or a wetland park and why that's beneficial to a particular community, you could then take information from this particular page from the association, go back to our research guide, and then be able to search effectively from the articles and research tab, or even look for books on particular wetlands and um, sort of those, those issues. So now that we're armed with more information, we kind of have a topic that we want, we can go into one of our relevant databases. If we're interested in the architecture of such a park, we could focus on one of these databases. If it's really more of the engineering and sustainability issues, we could focus on one of those. As I scroll down, you'll also see some industry resources um, for statistics. And I like to point these out too, because it's important uh, to focus on the management side of your particular field as well. So you might have uh, research concerns, and you will, but you also want to know um, how your particular field is doing overall. So if we were to click on something like Ibis World, I've already got it open in a tab. These offer industry outlooks and industry reports. So you can see this US industry the NAICS, which is the North American Industry Classification System. So every industry has a, a NAICS code available. And from this construction in the USA Industry Outlook, you can see things like industry at a glance, the performance, the outlook, products, market, competitive landscape, major companies. As you're leaving the university, you want to know who the major uh, companies are in your field, and some statistics. And so as you go through this page, you can even or, download the full report if you want. Um, these are several, almost 100 pages of information that you have to go through, giving you information on the, um, the construction industry in the US. As you can see, it's from August 2020, so it's a really recent report of what's happening. So much so that, as we see from 2020, this year has been affected by COVID, it's had a significant impact on the industry. And you want to see what the industry predictions are for the next few years. Same thing with some of the other industry resources out there. Um, this is just a slightly different report. I like to compare reports. So even though these are both industry reports with the same NICS code, they're authored by two different companies who we subscribe to for this type of information. So these are independent researchers who go out and look at the construction field.
and then provide you information on what they think their the outlook will be for the construction um, management construction science industry. As we go back to our research guide, the other things that I want to point out are that we do have some key journals in your field. So under the research and articles tab, you'll find that we make recommendations on the databases. Each of these databases is simply a collection of several journals from all sorts of fields. These particular key journals are individual journals that we've pulled out from these publications just so that you can search those individually. If you're doing a search, say an academic search ultimate, it's going to search a wide variety of those journals in, the, in your particular field. However, if you just want to keep tabs on, let's say, construction management and economics or the International Journal of Construction uh, Project Management, you could do a search individually in one of those journals, or you can browse and just see what people are writing about in your particular field, which I think is also something um, you should be aware of. Under writing and presentation help, we make some suggestions on um, citing your resources, as well as if you're required to do a, a research poster, this gives you the ideas on how to design your poster so it's readable for your audience. And then career information, we make um, recommendations on searching for a job, an internship, how to format a resume and a cover letter, and some tips on interviewing. So that's a quick rundown of the resources from the construction and engineering management. Um, it's the primary guide that I recommend for your field. However, you may want to look at our other research guides like engineering or science in general or environmental science, especially if your topic dips into one of those areas. Um, you can do sort of a cross-disciplinary search to see how your topic weaves in and out of those other disciplines. If you all have questions, please feel free to reach out, reach out to me specifically. I hope you all have a great semester, um, and I look forward to hearing about your, your research topics.